Your merciful love, O Lord. We are to receive in the midst of your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full with saving justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, today we celebrate the feast day of the presentation of our Lord. As a Jewish custom, Christ followed the same pattern of presenting himself to the presence of God, to the Lord our God at the temple. Both Mother Mary and Saint Joseph brought that to be a sacred one as Christ himself presented himself to, the, to his Father in heaven. As the people rejoiced to see and they brought God's revelation through their words, through their actions, we also bring ourselves to witness for Christ through our lives, through our words and actions. So we can present along with Christ, make ourselves to be worthy. Let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the last life. Amen. Together we say the glory of glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give, we give you thanks, thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly God. King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take over the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take over the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God. We humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten son was presented on this day in the temple, in the substance of our flesh, so by your grace we may be presented to you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me. And suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts, but who will endure the day of his coming and who can stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. The word of the Lord. 
our response is, Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lentils. Reach up, you ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lentils. Reach up, you ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them, that through death he might destroy the one who has power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who through fear of death had been subject to slavery all their life. Surely he did not help angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God to expiate the sins of the people. Because he himself was tested through what he suffered, he is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. A light of revelation to the Gentiles and glory to your people Israel. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the days were completed for their purification, according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens a womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate of the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arm and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for the revelation to the Gentiles and glory to your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and the rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, 
and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshiped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. This feast day of the presentation of our Lord plays a vital role in the liturgy of our Holy Catholic Church for, for two reasons. Christ is presenting himself as a child to follow the, the normal Rule, liturgical rules or the religious rules of the Jews. The second reason would be Christ presenting himself as he humbled himself to be born as a human person. And later he will completely offer himself at the cross. So this was a foretaste for Christ to present himself for the salvation of the world. This feast day of the presentation of the Lord brings us that we are called to be humble and go with God's divine plan and able to accept God's plan and see the splendor of God's plan. Even though Christ was the form of God, he was God as he is God. But he went through a way to have a normal human life, to be born to a Jewish family, able to listen to God's voice through his parents' wisdom and their knowledge about the world and the life and able to follow the religious norms and regulation as they would follow. So Christ presented himself and humbled himself all times. The humility of Christ made known God's revelation for salvation for humanity. We should ask a question, who are those two people? Simeon and Anna. They were in the church. They didn't make any plan. They didn't tell Mary or Joseph that this is what they are going to come and tell or this is where they are going to meet at the temple. No. They didn't even know the parents of Jesus. What if they missed to come that day to the church? to the temple. They may, not, they may not have seen Jesus at all. What if they missed, at one point they may have missed the way to see Jesus even at the temple. It's a huge temple in Jerusalem. All happen according to God's revelation, God's plan. And those two people, in their old age, they were able to say yes to God's will every day. So they came to the temple every day. 
made their faithful promise to God that they are waiting for Messiah to come. Simeon was able to bring the prophecy. Anna was able to see through her eyes in her old age how the Savior would look like. And this, that is a revelation of God. Sometimes we Catholics wonder, why should I go to church every day? Or why should I go to church Sunday, every Sunday? Why? Some people wonder that. But it is a faithful commitment through our baptism. It is a faithful commitment that we receive all graces from God, that we present ourselves the presence of God, the house of God, so we may receive all graces for our salvation. Through the sacraments we celebrate, through the life and faith that we live with, and thereby God is always with us as you receive blessing from this place, this holy place, as God has chosen us out of his love. Just like God chose Anna and Simeon chose them to be a prophet, to be a prophetess for a particular purpose. So God has chosen you and me for a single purpose that he has planned. We have no clue, but we just go with God's plan and do what he wants us to do. And that is the way Christ also did. And that is the way Mother Mary did. And that is the way St. Joseph did. And that is the way both Anna and Simeon did. And that is the way we are called to do that. Let us do God's will. Let us pray to God our Father as we present ourselves through the sacrament of Eucharist, all our prayers. For the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all leaders, we pray to the Lord. For the oppressed and the marginalized, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For refugees and immigrants, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For newborns, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the despondent, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the dead, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor souls in purgatory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Jim Ravina is being especially remembered at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the newborn children and all the children who are waiting for the baptism, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we present ourselves on this feast day of the presentation of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, so that we may, hum we may learn to be humble and do your will. Through our prayers, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, for the goodness which is the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, you become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness which is the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted by God Almighty, Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hand for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all of his holy church. May the offering made with exaltation by your church be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray, for you will that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the life of the world as a lamb without blemish through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For your co-eternal Son was presented on this day in the temple and revealed by the Spirit as the glory of Israel and light of the nations. And so we too go forth rejoicing to encounter your salvation. And with the angels and saints praise you as without end we are claimed, holy, 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 Lord God of Pontoast, heaven and earth, fill in your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts you pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly in his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice 
and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples say take this all of you and drink from it for this is a chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death, your death o lord, lord and profess your resurrection until, until you, come, you again. come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you are helpless worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one with the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and charles thompson our archbishop and all the clergy remember your servant jim ravina whom you called from this world to our side grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in our mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed joseph her spouse the blessed apostles saint vincent de paul our patron and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co has eternal life we praise and glory for you to your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who Lord, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth yes. as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope the coming of our savior jesus christ For the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not our sins for the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with their will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you all always. and with your spirit lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace
behold the lamb of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord, lord I, am i am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof but, but only say, say the word my soul, soul shall be healed, healed.
my eyes have seen your salvation which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples let us pray by these holy gifts which we have received o lord bring your grace to perfection within us and as you fulfill simeon's expectation that he would not see the death until he had been privileged to welcome the christ so we may going forth to meet the lord obtain the gift of eternal life through christ our lord amen i wish you all a happy feast day of the presentation of our lord and you too father well thank you all for participating at the mass tomorrow we have the feast day of st blaise as we have a traditional blessing of throat and uh, we will have for morning and for the kids at the school mass for all the parishioners the rest of the parishioners can come during the weekday mass weekend masses both saturday and sunday we will have the blessing of the throat uh, by our deacons and myself we'll have the blessing right after the mass on saturday and sunday so you can spread the word those who like to come for the blessing of the throat on this special uh, special feast day on tomorrow the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you all the father the son and the holy spirit amen go in peace thanks be to god Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray. And to the whole prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Thank you.